Hi guys! So today I'm coloring out of Pop Manga, Mermaids, and Other Sea Creatures by Camilla Erico. And I don't have the cover on it right now, but you can see it there. And the page that I'm going to color today is this one with the axolotl. Real excited. I haven't colored in this book in quite a while. So, yeah, I really wanted to get back into this one. Yeah, let's get started. I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils. And I'm going to probably going to do the axolotl first. Let's see here. They're more... Hmm. I need cardstock to go behind there. Not that one. Um, hold on. This one will work. Okay. I am gonna grab that other one though. So I can swatch my colors on there. Okay. I am not prepared, like at all. Let's see here. Um, that looks okay. Okay. Go ahead and get started here. So, how is everyone doing? Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm doing pretty good down here. Um... I was going to make a YouTube channel for my rabbit, which I probably, I might still do that, but for right now, I am not, because he's still just settling in, um, most likely I'll make a channel, but We'll have to wait for that. And at first when I got him, <laughs> if you hear noises, that's, that's probably just him. But, um, the other day I was like, mm, I don't know, do I really want a rabbit? Yeah. I was thinking that, I don't know why, I, I really like him. I'm just, I'm a very indecisive person. I do love him though. I think it's just where he's not really used to me yet. I'm like, come on. I want to love you, but you don't want me to. I honestly should have thought about it more before I did it, but it is what it is now. He is my responsibility, and I'm going to take care of him and give him the best life that he can have. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
But, yeah, I did pick him up on Sunday. Picked him up Sunday. Um... like two days ago picked him up Sunday um brought him home put him in his cage well not a cage his pen his exercise pen I don't believe in putting animals in cages um yeah we got him in his pen I've got a box and a litter box in there for him and he um he'll get on top of the box that's in there and he is almost as tall not he's taller standing up on the box than the pin is the pin is 30 inches tall i believe And he is taller than that, standing on his box. So, he is really big. He's not huge, but he's pretty big. And I don't know why I had second thoughts after I got him. Uh, I know it was a big responsibility. Um, and all that. Maybe that's why. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. Some things happen, some things change, but I'm gonna give him the life that he need, that he deserves. I give him vegetables because they're supposed to have vegetables. Um, pellets, they don't need that many pellets unless they were given a lot of pellets when they were owned by somebody else. Um, he gets little treats. I give him like um, freeze-dried apples and freeze-dried bananas. And I give him some fresh fruit sometimes. So, yeah. He definitely has it better here. Um, when he was at the other place, they kept him in a dog crate. Like one of those carriers that you'd take your dog to the vet in. He was kept in one of those. And that is definitely not enough space. And he also had like a little room to himself. I think that that was just like a home base for him. Yeah. Cause she, she took good care of him while she had him. And I'm an adult now, so I really, I wanted like a animal to be responsible for, really. If I hadn't got rabbits or if I hadn't got a rabbit, I probably would have gotten two guinea pigs, honestly. And they can just stay in an exercise pen. That would be more than plenty of room for 
two guinea pigs. What the heck? What the heck? Stupid thing. <sighs> but anyway, I should have done more like I should have been like, oh, do I really want that? before I even get it. I was dead set on it, so I probably would have waited to last minute to change my mind. But it is what it is now. I have him, and he's gonna get the best care that he's ever had. I don't think they really fooled with him much, you know? Like, I don't think they tried to bond with him at all. I mean, he is a really friendly rabbit. But I just don't think anybody tried to get to know him. And I think that's why they wanted to give him to somebody. Like, give him away. because they didn't have the time for him. Sorry, I was just checking on him. <clears throat> I can see him from where I'm sitting. I think he's about asleep. Ow! Something's in the floor. Just hurt my little, just hurt my foot. Ow. Don't know what that was. Anyway. But yeah, I'll get used to him over time. <clears throat> I think it's just not, I think it's where I've not had a rabbit in quite a while. So I was a little more hesitant. Um, yeah. I've not had rabbits in a very long time. So, when I got him, I was like, mm, this is going to be a huge responsibility. Am I really ready to have that? Am I really, am I really prepared to deal with it? So, that's really what I was thinking. I think it'll be okay, though. He's got a good home. Um, he's actually been in that pen since I got him Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm going to let him out. I'm going to let him out of his pen to explore the rest of the room. And yeah, 
give them some more space. So he's he's very curious. And I do want to try to bond with him. Some people, when they get pets, they'll be like, hmm, I don't know if this was really right for me. And then, after a while, they'll be like, I'm glad that I didn't give up. That's what I want it to be for me. That I don't just give up and be like, mm, I don't really want this anymore. I want him to live a good life. He's drinking water. I think he's gonna be a very happy bunny. <laughs> he already is very happy. And that's all that I really wanted. Now, after getting him, I'm like, well, there was other rabbits that I could have had that were really pretty, and they were small. I think another factor into why I didn't think it was going to work was how big he is. He is a New Zealand rabbit. He's almost two years old, you know, so. Maybe it's the fact that he's so big that I'm a little overwhelmed, but that should go away after a while of having him. Then I'll be like, oh, I'm glad that I had him and not another rabbit. Now, he really is such a sweetheart. So, yeah, I just do, I do just want to give him a great home. And that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to really talk about animal care in this video. I mean... I know that there's other channels for that, but I don't care. <laughs> this is my channel, I'm gonna post it. But really, rabbits need 85% of their diet to be hay. And really my rabbit, he doesn't eat a lot of hay, which I don't think he really did when he was at the other place either. She gave me the hay that he was eating and she said that he didn't really like it. So I'm probably gonna get him some Timothy hay. Uh, what he's got right now is orchard grass. I think it may be a little too sweet for him because orchard grass is more sweet. I think I'm just gonna get him some Timothy. Um when I go back to the store or have my dad pick some up when he goes to the store. Um, and then 
about 10% should be vegetables like greens like lettuce cilantro um, cucumber you know that's the stuff that I, that I feed my rabbit is the cilantro the lettuce and um, cucumber and he absolutely loves it um, and I wouldn't recommend like a water bottle I really wouldn't do a water bowl because they'll drink as much as a dog can in water so ditch the bottle go with a bowl and then this is probably gonna be her skin her skin tone um it's okay Yeah, I've got a different thing over here. So, um, but anyway, that's the, um, oh, I'd say more of like 80% should be hay. 5% vegetables, not 10% vegetables, honestly. 5% uh, pellets, and then 5% treats. They don't need a lot of treats, they don't need a lot of pellets. Now, if your rabbit was raised on pellets, then I would say give them. A little bit more than you would I usually give my rabbit um, three one-fourth cups a day and he eats every bit of it in the morning I'll give him his vegetables one-fourth cup pellets around Probably around two or three o'clock one fourth cup pellets when I eat again around eight o'clock and then another fourth cup before I go to bed uh, to bed yeah before I go to bed which is around like 12 in the morning but I usually give them sooner like 11 11 o'clock so yeah then I usually give them a treat in the morning and one treat at night I'll either give him a freeze-dried apple or a freeze-dried banana or you can give um, like actual fruit because um, I can eat regular fruit it doesn't have to be freeze-dried Okay, let me see. What is this one? Hmm. Maybe do her skin the same color. And then... Yeah, that could do shading.
Hmm. Let me see here. Maybe I could do a little bit more of a pink to shade. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see here. Can I do this one? Would this one be better? Ooh, that does look better. Cause it's not so dark. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this one's not so dark. So I could do this pink. Okay, that looks better. Anyway, let's move on. Let's do her face. Where did that other pencil go? Well. Um, okay. Oh, duh. It's right there. Okay, so I'm going to do her face the same color I did the axolotl. Except I'm going to use a different color for shading her face. I'm probably going to use like a gray to shade the face. Instead of the... pink this is gonna look so adorable when I get it done But yeah, I thought about making my rabbit an Instagram. Just because he's so darn cute. But I do want to make his YouTube channel. It's not just going to be about him. It's going to be about the progress that I've made with him trying to get him comfortable with the surroundings and get him used to everything that's going on um, he's not scared really around my dog <clears throat> um, 
he has been around dogs his whole life, interacted with them, um, but definitely when he is out of his pen, I am not going to let any dogs in here. This is my room, so I'm not letting any dogs in here while he's out. Because um, I'm not really worried about him. I'm more worried about my dog because my rabbit is bigger than my dog. So just going to keep him away while he's out. He is pretty loud when he's jumping around. <laughs> he's just flopped over. When they flop, that's just them getting comfortable. So if they're flopping when you just get them, that is a great sign. That means they are comfortable around you and they're comfortable in their surroundings. And he has done it many times in here. And they'll jump in the air. Those are called binkies. <clears throat> when they jump in the air and um, they'll turn in the air, they'll spin in the air, they'll um, like shimmy in the air, and that is a binky. That means they are happy, they're excited, yeah. And then when they're running around, when they're ru running really fast in the room, that is a zoomy. And that also means that they are very happy and very excited. So, if you have a rabbit and it does any of those things, then that means you have a happy rabbit. But if they're cowering and they're scared, then you need to work on it. <laughs> You need to work on the surroundings because something may be scaring your rabbit. Whether it be something in the room or something outside the room, fix it. <laughs> you don't want them to be scared 24-7. It's not good for them to be scared all the time. Ow! Every single time. Okay, so I wanted to do her face with a gray pencil. Wanted to shade with a gray pencil. Uh, I don't know if, uh, I'm not gonna shade right now. I do want to do the rest of it first. I don't think I'll get her hair done, but I'm definitely gonna try. I'm gonna move these. Okay. Let me see. I think I wanna do like a like a blue color for the eyes. So let me see. Maybe like a real light blue and then more of a darker blue. Okay, 
else? I've got cloud blue. And I'm also going to use... I'm also going to use light cerulean blue. So I'll get that up in there. Up in the top. like that and then I'm going to take the light cerulean or the cloud blue and just get that on in there hmm let me try something get those little highlights back in that eye. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. So right up top there and then right here. Let's do those. All right. And then the very center should be black so let's cover all of that oh, that needs fixed definitely so let's just go over top of that black there with that blue Ooh. Um, hmm. I kind of feel like maybe more of an aqua -y color could work instead of that cloud blue. Yeah, let's just try that. Ooh. Ooh, that looks cute. I like that. So let's put that up. Put that blue in there. All right. And then let's go ahead and seal up that. Again, I'm going to take that blue and just kind of help that. Then I'm going to do the white spots in the eye. Do you want to do one down here? I don't love that there. Let's put it here. Ooh, yes. I do like that. Okay. So, I think it'll look a ton better after it's all shaded and everything. So, I want to take a real dark brown. Let's get these eyebrows a little bit of color. Ooh, that makes it look better already. All right. Let's do the lips. Let's get them like a pinky color. Hmm. Maybe like a darker pink. So I'm going to do magenta,
There we go. It's a pretty color. Okay. We can start on the hair, but we won't finish it. Let's go ahead and do, hmm. Let's see what we've got. Maybe, I want something, hmm. Something to match the axolotl. So a pink. Don't have many pinks. Um, we could use process red, maybe. Um, let's use just pink, I guess. Hmm. I know it's confusing. Because I don't have that many colors. Um, it is just a 72 set. Uh, let's just use pink. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. And then the, the, uh, gills for the axolotl will be pink as well, probably. But here, if you're thinking of getting a rabbit, I mean, go for it if you really, really, really want one. But don't, if you're just thinking on it, I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's what happened to me. I didn't know for sure, for sure until I, it was too late. But I have him and I love him. And for those of you who are wondering what his name is, his name is Snowball. He is an albino New Zealand rabbit. So he's got the red eyes and he is just the cutest thing. So I'm really happy with how much we've got done in this video. Um because all I have to do after I get this done is shade and then I'll, I've got the bubbles which I'll probably do in a glitter gel pen so it's not gonna be bad I'll probably get this thing done very quickly Every time. Okay. So, I also need to make another video for this month. Um, what I colored in January. Because today is the 31st. And this month is almost over already. Which... That is insane to me. That is very cool. Which means I've got... I've got a little over four months until I can go and get my nose pierced. So, yeah. I think that's going to be interesting. I just love how people look 
with a nose piercing. I really do. And those those really suit anyone. Whether it be the nostril or the septum, both nostrils and the septum even. You know, that kind of thing suits some people. Some not so much, but yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this hair before I get off of here. And I'm going to shade maybe do some highlighting and then I will put this in my pictures that I colored in January <laughs> since today is January yes today is January <sighs> uh. I think this is gonna look so cute when it's done. I do need to work on the rest of the pages that I don't have finished before I start another one. So, or just do pages that I can get done in a video, in one video. So I may have to go to some grayscale next video, which I'm sure some of you won't even mind. Maybe some Elena Lazareva. So I do have the 100 Best Grayscale Part 1 book. So. And also, I'm going to get another book um, when tax time comes around. Hopefully I won't have to pay and I can just get something back but yeah I've already got my tax papers and everything my family or my mom and dad is just waiting on theirs And my brother's, I think. I don't think he's got his yet either. Today's the last day they can <sighs> Today's the last day they can wait. They can't wait any longer.
they have to get them sent out or they will get in trouble. So I'm gonna, when I get this page done, which probably won't take long, I'm going to make the end of the month video. And of course this will be in it. And um, I'm planning on getting the Cats book from Hatchet Heroes, the ones that made the Disney books. Yeah, they've got more than just Disney, but I'm wanting to get their Cats one. Just a whole book full of cats. I think that would be really cool. And I do want to order another set of a and Art gel pens. So, I'm definitely going to get those. Because those are really good gel pens. If you haven't tried those and you're looking for gel pens, I highly recommend the A&Art gel pens. So, going by them. Um, uh, None of the links that I ever post in my videos are, are in my descriptions. None of them are ever affiliate links. I wish. Because I love Amazon. But, unfortunately, they're not. But, a girl can dream. <laughs> Anyways... Yeah, I always, I order everything from Amazon, really. Oh, and if you're getting a rabbit... Don't go crazy on buying stuff. Because I did. Well, I didn't, but I did. Um, they were all saying like, oh, rabbits like to forage. Get a snuffle mat. I got a snuffle mat. I got some forage. He does not like the forage. So there is no reason to have the snuffle mats. Um, I mean, I could put, like, treats in it and he could forage for them. 
but he does not like the forage. Which, that's okay. He doesn't have to like everything that I get him. Uh, he doesn't like one of his toys. He really likes one of them, but he does not like the other. Okay, and then before I go, I'm going to do the axolotl's eyes as well. So, I'm going to put the blue up here. And the aqua right in there. And I do have to work tomorrow, so most likely there will not be any videos posted. I just have to work in the morning, so I may, I may post another video. I'm not sure. Okay. So, I know I didn't do the spike things on the axolotl, but I'm running out of time. So, I'm going to finish this up and probably make the other video, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other books or supplies you'd like to see on the channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.